So you think you need to take some action and stop contributing to climate change. So you decide to change your petrol slash diesel car to an EV. So whenever I talk about EVs, you think about boring, slow, silent vehicles or some of them just think that these vehicles are climate friendly and made for the future. Let's first get to know about the history of these electric vehicles. In the 1890s, the EVs gained popularity for its quietness and ease of use compared to steam and gasoline cars. By 1900, EVs accounted for about a third of all vehicles in the US. In 1897, the first commercial EV, which is a fleet of taxis, was introduced in NYC. In the 1910s, companies like Thomas Edison and Henry Ford experimented with EVs. From 1940 to 1945, EVs were used as golf carts. I mean, they are very good for something simple like just moving around the golf course. The oil crisis of 1973 and 1979 renewed the interest in EVs. In the early 2000s, there was a huge advancement in EVs. Toyota Pyrus, a hybrid electric vehicle, gained popularity showcasing the potential of EVs. The, but they were still comparatively slow and inefficient than the gasoline cars. Then in the year 2008, Tesla Motor revolutionized the entire EV industry by launching an electric roadster. The first highway legal all-electric car with a range of over 200 miles per charge with an awesome design. Then from 2020, Tesla got more and more competitors as the need for electric vehicles for tackling climate change increased. But the main question is how effective are these EVs really? Well it depends on the location at which you recharge your EV. So here is the main difference between an electric car and a an diesel or petrol car. So every car needs energy to work right? This energy must be in the form of electrical energy. In a non-EV, electricity is being generated from burning these fossil fuels like gasoline, oil, CNG and petroleum inside the car. These fuels are burnt inside the car and the energy released from the breaking of the carbon bonds um, is converted into electrical energy. The burning of these fuels inside the car engine releases tons of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide which contribute to global warming and climate change. But in case of an EV, the energy is already present in the form of electricity and there is no generation of electricity required. Since electricity is not being generated inside the car, the emissions are very very low compared to a non-EV. Also there is some extra space for some extra luggage. But how true is it? We don't get electrical energy directly. We need to make it. I mean we need to convert it from one form to another. Now the electricity which your EV needs is being generated inside power plants. So there is still some amount of net emission. But it is still less compared to the non-EV because these car engines are less efficient in generating electricity compared to the big power plants which generate electricity in a bulk. And also the emission depends on the source of electrical energy. Where are you exactly getting the electricity from? For example, in countries like France, 60 to 70 percent of the electricity is generated from nuclear power plants which has very 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 low emission rates and is far far cleaner than petrol but in case of countries like india where most of the energy and electricity is being generated from coal um, the electricity is not that clean and there there is no difference between a non-ev and an EV in terms of how eco-friendly it is. Well, so it doesn't matter whether we are using electricity or not, but what matters is the source from which we are getting the electricity. Um, I guess that's enough for now. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe because we are trying to hit a thousand subs. Bye.